Hey everybody, this is Trey with BlackFalconElectronics.com and in this video I will be detailing Project Castle Guardian. Uh, Project Castle Guardian is an amateur level home security system that I'll be using with Arduino programming. Now before I start this video, I would like to invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, as well as look at our social media links which are down in the description. Uh, we have a Patreon and if you sign up for the Patreon, you will get a detailed description of how Project Castle Guardian works as well as other perks that are available uh, once you subscribe. And if you really wanna help the channel, please consider buying a Sparrow programming kit. Now this is a kit that I put together not too long ago to help anyone who's interested in Arduino Nano programming. Um, it has a lot of products in there, has LCD to teach you how to use displays. Um, and I also have a tutorial file download that is for free, that is constantly updated so that you can learn how to use programming using loops, different programming practices. And overall, it's just a very good way for you or a loved one to learn how to program. So with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and start this video. So here we are at the Black Falcon Electronics board, and this is the full description of Project Castle Guardian. Of course, if you subscribe to the Patreon, you'll see more detailed explanation of how this works, link it down in the description. But for now, let's go ahead and go. So the point of the system, as stated before, is to be an amateur level home security system, right? Now, there are three things that you need uh, for this to work effectively. You need three things. One is to detect, locate, and communicate. Without those three things, this whole project fails and ceases to exist. Now, how do we have the detection? Now, biggest thing, the main centerpiece of this system is the panel. The panel is where everything can be controlled from. It can bring up communications, bring down communications, as well as the system itself. So this panel has communication lines. It's these two lines, one for sending, one in, uh, is for receiving. Now, the detection system is going to be using several different things. One uh, is going to detect via heat, a heat detection system. There needs to be door window sensors, and there needs to be a camera. Okay, so that's your detection. Your location tells you where in the house the individual is, or let's say the intruder or intruders are. So the location will be done via the heat detection system, which will detect which room they are in specifically, as well as the cameras. The cameras will give you audio video recording for, so you can see whoever this intruder is. Now, your communication system I mean, that's also the bread and butter of the system. And that is how everything communicates with the panel and how the panel communicates to a satellite communication network that is not on the air. It can't really be hacked easily at all. And then from the SATCOM network, it communicates to me. So the panel communicates with all the subunits in the house to monitor, detect, locate, a hostile or an intruder, then all that data and information is sent to the satellite communication network. And that satellite communication network is then uh, communicates with me to give me all the information. That is the detect, locate, and communicate. But there's a little bit more that goes into Project Castle Guardian, specifically with communication. Now with communication, um, like I said, we have these lines that tell you, you know, data is being sent and received but you need an authentication method, which is here, so that you don't have a person who is able to hack into the system and see what's going on um, via the cameras, hack into the cameras, and you need an authentication method because all of these systems are gonna be communicating at least from everything that is connected to the panel and everything that connects to the SATCOM unit through the panel is gonna be via RF. So you gotta make sure you protect your network via the internet, and you need to protect your network um, by having some kind of encryption authentication method so someone can't just sit with their RF device and watch and see the traffic and be able to determine, oh, is now a good time to try and break into the house, or is, or should I wait, or should I just do it now, or should, what, when should I wait? You need an authentication method, okay? 
So not only do you need this authentication method, you also need an auto on and an auto off feature. So what if you decide to leave the house, but you forget to arm the system? What if I decided to go on a trip and I'm leaving for three months, but I forgot, oh damn, I didn't turn on Project Castle Guardian. Now I could arm it by sending a signal to the satellite communication network, which sends it to the panel. But what if I just totally blank it because I'm so excited for my trip? There needs to be a way for the system to detect if no one's in the house, and if no one's in the house for a certain period of time, then the panel needs to be able to send all the signals out saying, okay, just arm it. We don't know, uh, we haven't been armed or disarmed, but no one's been in the house for X amount of time, we need to arm. And then it arms the whole system, thereby sending information to the SATCOM network, which sends information to me. And I'm like, oh, damn, I, I totally forgot I was supposed to turn this on. But thank goodness it turned itself on, okay? So this whole system is very important. Like I said, it's an amateur level home security system. The point of it is just to prove that I can do it and I know how to do it. Um, but it shouldn't just tell me when someone is in the house or out the house or if it's armed or disarmed, but it should also be meshed in with other projects that I have so that I can tell not only if someone's in or out the house, but for example, my animals, how are my animals doing? Now, of course, I wouldn't be gone for three weeks because I need to make sure they're fed. But what if I'm gone for one week? What if I'm gone for several days, right? So I want to have my ARCS unit or my automated animal residency control system to be meshed in. This is the ARCS right here. I want it to be meshed in with Project Castle Guardian so that not only do I get security information and security data, but I also know what's going on with my animals. What is the humidity? What is the temperature? What is the ventilation? What's going on with my animals? What's going on with their containment? And that is the next step of meshing it in with that network. And I'll actually show you how the ARCS units work right now. So here is an ARCS Plus unit, or like I said previously, Automated Animal Residency Control System Plus. Now the plus comes from the fact that I now have a line of communication to see what the values are for each of the, these enclosures. And I obviously have several. Now, this is for my leopard gecko, pulled some of the stuff out, um, but this is what it is. You have your radio control unit that also has a buzzer. It has a relay here to turn on and off the heat lamp. Um, it has a timing uh, device via clock calendar unit, and it also has an LED that tells me the overall temperature status of the enclosure. And this you see here, this actually is a mesh material to keep the animal out, but allows the air to come in for detection so that I can tell what the humidity is and if it needs adjustment. Now here, I have connected a fan and that fan basically provides that ventilation. So if it's too hot, the relay will turn off and the fan will kick on until it hits a predetermined temperature, at which point it will turn off and you know, you'll be business as normal and there you go. So with this being meshed in and being installed into every ARCS Plus uh, enclosure, I can monitor what's going on for my animals, whether I'm across the street or I am on the other side of the world. All right, everybody, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna be showing and updating my progress um, as I finish making Castle Guardian. The Arts Plus unit is done. Just need to do Castle Guardian. Um, so please follow me, like, share, subscribe on this YouTube, as well as follow me on Facebook and Instagram under the names Black Falcon Electronics. And if you want to see even more detail on how I'm going to have everything made and programmed, you can follow and subscribe to my Patreon links down below. And thank you guys for watching. And last reminder, if you guys really want to support the channel, not only should you like, share, and subscribe, but consider clicking our link below to our Amazon so that you can buy a Black Falcon Electronics Sparrow programming kit for you or a loved one. Doesn't matter what your uh, proficiency is in programming. You can be a beginner, you can be advanced, or want to refresh your skills. That is definitely the place to be and the product to buy if you're interested in getting back into or getting someone into electronics. Thank you guys for watching. Please have a blessed day. God bless and God bless the United States of America.